my name is Richa. I'm in ninth grade and um, for November. My name is Elizabeth Nicosia. I'm in 10th grade and I was chosen for the student of the month in the month of November. My name is Shunete Teresina. I'm a junior, so in 11th grade, and I was chosen for November. My name is Ankit Kashiretti. Uh, I'm a senior in high school, and I was chosen for the November Student of the Month. My name is Gabriella Amaro. I'm a senior, and I was chosen for the Student of the Month for November. My favorite subject is history. Um, I like this subject because you get to like, explore like the events of the past and the consequences of mistakes and of choices that were made. I like uh, psycho psychology because it's really in interesting and also like physics because I'm trying to be an engineer in the future and it's a great class to like learn about. My favorite subjects in school are history and math because um, I like that they're like complicated than like I like learning a lot of new things. My favorite subjects in school are math. Right now I'm taking like um, AP Calc and AP Stats. I just really like math because it has one answer and I just always was really like good with that and I like doing that outside of school as well. well. My favorite subjects are English because I like to write in my spare time and math when I can actually understand it. I plan to attend a four-year college after high school um, and I would like to be an engineer in the future and try to like create sources of renewable energy as like one of my things. After high school, I wanna go into the business field. I've always been pretty entrepreneurial and I have a lot of creativity, so I think I could use that really well in if I go further in that field. So after high school, I want to go for biomedical engineering for my undergraduate degree because I think it would give me the background with biomedical devices I would need for a career in radiology, which is what I wanna do for the rest of my life. After high school, I plan to go to college and pursue in a career of occupational therapy. This is because I love helping people, especially people with special needs. When I get out of high school, I, um, I want to be a doctor um, because I just like the idea of being a doctor and um, it's interesting to me. The characteristics, I think, that appeal to people. I think I like to think I'm pretty driven. I like to think that I have a plan for what I want to do, which is a good thing to have for a good student. Um, I'm very focused when I have a goal in mind. I am I'm good with people. People tend to trust me very often. I think I work hard, I guess, and I like try my best to make sure like I, that I do good in school and I try to be nice to people. I think I was chosen for student of the month because I always get my work done quickly and when I'm done I will use my knowledge to help other kids. I think it's all about like how much work you put in. I think school is what you make it. So I know a lot of people are talking about how they're stressed but if you manage your time well, if you can kind of finish everything that you're given and like do it well and on time and just try your best with it like it's not necessarily about grades but just how much effort that you get to put into it and if you are doing all that you can and I think if you do that that's what really makes you a good student and I think I've been really trying to do that this year especially since we come back from remote I've been trying to be the best I can in this new kind of in-person school and I think my teachers have recognized that um very honest respectful uh, I do my work for school, I ask questions, and I, I'm pretty on top of my work and show good work ethic. I think I balance out my schedule pretty well. I like competitive cheerleading because you get to work together as a team and create bonds with people in order to create the best performance you can. Some of my favorite activities to do inside or outside of school include uh, tennis, uh, being part of clubs like robotics, math team, um, going to sports events like the football games, the volleyball games, and out of school I also coach tennis to the kids. My favorite activities are I like to play tennis, um, I do karate, uh, I did track like last year. Outside of school I like to write as I said before I write pretty much anything from like short stories, novels, um, I also like to make videos with like After Effects. I, I've been doing that video editing thing since I was in eighth grade, so I can keep a hobby for pretty long. 
Some of my favorite activities in and outside of school are I do dance outside of school. I've been dancing since I was around four and I've loved dance. Um, I also do Taekwondo, which I'm currently a black belt in. In school, um, I do FBLA and DECA, which are like business related clubs. And I also do some other clubs like TSA. I think um, my friends, parents, a few of my teachers like Miss Kim, uh, are like really big influences upon me and they've taught me a lot and I just use the lessons they share with me. Some influence in my life, um, my parents, I guess, and my older sister. My mom has been a very driving force in my life to support me throughout what I want to do. I also, I also want to thank God for getting me to where I am. I also have some pretty good friends that have got me to this point and Dead Can Dance for being on my study playlist all the time. The people in my life that influenced me to succeed are my parents because they're always pushing me to be my best. One of the biggest influences in my life is my mom. My mom is super hardworking and I always look up to her no matter what I do. So if there's any situation where I'm like stuck or I don't know what decision to make, sometimes I just ask, ask myself, if my mom were in this situation, like what would she do? Because she always makes the right decision when she's focusing on kind of like her values. And since I grew up with that, I always look up to her for that. She's always an inspiration. First, I wanna thank God for keeping me alive to this point. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my all my friends. They're all supporting me. I want to thank System of a Down for making the songs that I always listen to. Iron Maiden, David Bowie, just constant study playlist. I would like to thank my parents. They probably like encouraged me most and like pushed me the hardest. It's like tough, but like they made me who I am today. And my friends have like helped me like balance out my life a bit and like really helped me out. And my teachers also, like Miss Kim was probably like my favorite teacher and she's helped me out a lot. I would love to thank, thank my teachers this year. Um, a lot of my teachers have really helped me throughout like this transition back into in-person school. Like some of my teachers I've talked with after class, they've explained problems to me that I didn't get during class. And I really think um, they're kind of encouraging me to ask questions to them and really just understand the topic better. I would like to thank my friends and my parents because they're always there to support me and push me to my, be my best. I'd like to thank my parents and my sister 